Good morning. I am currently heading to work. I got my truck loaded up so I can leave straight from work this afternoon. And it is the weekend for the hunt giveaway. So we gave away a hunt about, oh, October, I believe, of last year or somewhere in there, sometime last year, uh, when we hit 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. We are now at almost 3,000, so thank you everybody for following along, it's awesome. But we had given away a hunt, and DJ Boozman was the winner. So I'm heading up this afternoon, I'm gonna go up and meet him. Jeremy, I believe, is coming up tomorrow night, but he still hasn't asked for permission from the significant other, so who knows, wait till last second. I've been giving him crap for like two weeks. He's too scared to ask. He's going to be pissed that I put this on here, but I don't care. Love you, buddy. But we're heading up to uh, do some archery mule deer hunting. Maybe whitetail, but we're going to focus on mule deer. I do not believe DJ has ever shot a mule deer with his bow. May or may not have ever even hunted mule deer with his bow. So I think it'll be a, it'll be a blast. It's gonna be chilly, first major cold front of the year. It's the middle of October, good moon, good pressure, all the perfect conditions. So we'll see what happens. Looking forward to it, but first, gotta fight through a relatively long day of work, and then I'll be out. We'll see you out there. Well, seen quite a few deer. Nothing big yet. It's almost dark. I'm starting to head head my way to my uncle's house. So DJ should be there before long. I'm gonna keep moving. Meet him there. We'll make a game plan for tomorrow. If I have a couple beers, should be a good time. A bunch of deer right there. All slick heads. But I'm gonna keep going up here and try to glass the edge of this one public piece that I kinda like. Might not have enough light to glass that far, but that's all right. Just a bonus day right now. So just seeing deer is good with me. Good morning guys, currently loading up the truck, DJ got here last night, and we are going to go hunting today, if I can get my key, and uh, hopefully find a big mule deer buck to go after. So we're just getting loaded up, we're going to roll out. We'll introduce you to DJ here in a second. This is DJ, everybody. Good morning. <laughs> DJ doesn't know it yet, but he's about to kill a big mule deer in the next few days. I hope. Either way, we're going to have some fun, so we'll go get him. Doing a little driving and glassing just to start the morning. This area you can see a long ways, so kind of just glassing from the truck for starters. See if we can locate a shooter buck for Mr. DJ to kill. There's a couple does on the hill right here, but we saw some bucks in here the about a month ago when we were up here, so I thought we'd come up here this morning because. There's quite a few. Let's see if we could find one to go after. What do you think? It's 
good. Yeah. There's like a crisp, it's 14 degrees it's right chilly. now. It's chilly. It is chilly. <laughs> so, this is kind of a shocker. First cold front of the year. 14 degrees. from the pickup we just got into the area that we're gonna go hike around for a little bit see if we can turn something up we saw some muleys on the way in here just no big bucks so it's starting to warm up a tiny bit it's a little more tolerable it's a cold day so we're gonna go find one that's what's gonna happen we're headed in Just gonna go find a slammer real quick and put an arrow in him. We are gonna cut down this draw. Now there's another draw that goes kind of back up towards the direction of the pickup. And hopefully spot something along the way. They could be bedded right in this draw today, so it'd be pretty easy to accidentally blow them out of here, so we're just going to take her slow. Getting our skin in the game, then we'll go kill one. Well, we just relocated to a new spot. Saw quite a few deer this morning, but we still have not seen a shooter buck, so we're gonna hike down into the steep stuff quite a ways and hopefully turn something up. so far so I thought we were doe hunting apparently you didn't want to take that one and a half year old white tail buck mm -hmm. <laughs> I might tomorrow
my 60 yards. That doe wouldn't have seen us under that tree. We'd have been sitting good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, it almost worked, but doe screwed it all up. We popped up and they were bedded right down here, actually a lot closer than I had thought they were going to be bedded. But the one doe saw us and maybe we kind of rushed it a little bit, just getting nervous that she was going to blow them out. And then there was three does that we did not know about laying right here when we popped up. And that was the end of it. But there's more, uh, more bucks out there. We'll go find another one. He was a decent buck, but maybe it happened for a reason. Could be. We'll find out. <laughs> Well, we're going to head back to the truck and move to another spot because we're going to run out of daylight before we know it. Well, we just spotted a pretty good buck coming out of this public to feed in these hay fields. So I think we'll probably try to make a play on them in the morning when they go back to bed. But for now, we're just gonna sit here and see if any other bucks come out. There's been a deer parade this afternoon. That'll make probably 15 or so out in this field now, maybe more. We're just kind of scouting tonight because I didn't want to go in there and rile them up, push them out of there. And tomorrow, maybe he'll bleed. Well, day one of DJ's hunt is a wrap. We did not draw blood today, but we had some fun. We saw a bunch of deer. We kind of mainly scouted tonight, so we'd have a better idea of what to do tomorrow. I think we kind of have a game plan, so hopefully it'll pay off. We're gonna go back, have some food, regroup, and I'm gonna hang, hang up now before I hit a deer. Day two is engaging. We're just loading up, heading out. Gonna go get our eyeballs on that mule deer buck from last night. and Hopefully go put an arrow in him. What do you think, DJ? Go yeah. time. A little snow on the ground. Heck yeah. Got a little skiff of snow. It'll make it easier to see the deer, make it easier for the deer to see us, so. It'll be fun. Jeremy's heading up this morning to meet us too. So we'll see what happens. Should be a good time. Good luck, dude. You never know what you might see in South Dakota. Transport loaded down with cars. Classic cars for the most part, except for this like brand new BMW on the back <laughs> but pretty sweet I bet they're heading to Barrett Jackson or something but we're gonna go hunt now because that's why we're here we got distracted we'll see you out there well we just saw a stud mule deer he's got little kickers off both his back forks lays out real wide not super heavy but he is close to public but not on public and not heading towards public so he's safe for now but it's still fun to see those big deer what'd you think of that one it's big yeah but we're gonna go find one where we can actually hunt it now
Two does, kind of making a loop back. Just too damn foggy to be able to glass very far. So, see if we bump into something in the south end of this draw, or west end, or whatever direction it is. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll head back to the truck. Jeremy's on his way out. Go meet up with him make a game plan or we'll kill one on the way out of here then we'll call him and he can come help us pack it out well look who it is Jeremy has arrived we're gonna go hike into a spot me and Jeremy went about a month ago saw some bucks in there haven't been in there since we're gonna go kill one and because the good luck is the here. good luck has arrived so here we go we are headed in to the hopefully promised land. The wind is not great if we spot one in there for sneaking, but we'll figure it out. We're all matching. <laughs> and we did not plan it. Me and Jeremy are typically matching, but DJ shows up with the exact same camo pattern. True timber. You can hop on Gator Outdoors use the discount code BUCKSTORM10, all caps. I'm not sure if it's case sensitive, but just use all caps just in case. And it'll save you 10% off True Timber gear along with whatever else you want that's on their website. Check them out. It's a little bit dark for the snow, but that's all right. You can't let the deer see you anyhow. But we'll see you once we get hiked into the spot. It's a pretty good jaunt, so. Jeremy says there's an 85% chance that there's gonna be a deer in here, which I like the odds, so. 75% chance there's a buck. 75? Sweet, dude. Let's go. No dice. We snuck all over in there and did not see any fresh deer tracks or deer until we got out. There was four does over the hill that are now gone. So we're gonna hike back to the truck. Snow's falling again. Relocate. Try again.
Somebody's got eyes on them. And see how far they went. Dang wind. A group of bucks moved around the other side. We're trying to get in front of them. Still bedded down. We're not really 
Well, we've been giving her hell. The other deer have just been hosing us. This time it was a double throat patch doe. But now we get to climb way back over that hill there. But this is pretty flat. Keep our body temp up. Jeremy's probably frozen. Go see if we can find something else to move on before dark. Good morning guys, it is day three of DJ's hunt. We are headed out. It's raining, which is wonderful. We needed this badly, badly, badly. It has been dry. So, might make for a little uncomfortable hunting, but that's all right, because this rain was much, much needed. So yeah, it's all good. So we're heading out. We spotted a really big buck last night, right at dark. We think he's really big. Big frame, mature, giant body deer. Just was a little too dark to get a great look at him. In the exact same spot that we snuck on those deer yesterday morning. So we're gonna move in there and hopefully put our eyes on him and make a play. We'll see this rain might have the deer all confused because it hasn't rained in like a month so we'll see what happens well we just spotted a pretty cool buck he's really high and tight just a narrow tall mule deer buck bedded I think he's on the public but it's a little bit tricky to tell from here We'll keep an eye on him, maybe see if we can make a move. Well, this is kind of our last ditch effort right here. DJ's gotta head back today. It's been fun though. Had some relatively close encounters, just deer haven't wanted to cooperate, so we'll see if we can change that. There was a pretty good buck in here two nights ago. I'm sure he's in here somewhere, so. Let's see if we can turn him up and make a move. Nothing yet. We're just working our way to what I would consider the better area. Never seen much in here, even though it looks really good. So hopefully there will be some over yonder. We had a good time. We 
We were not able to connect, but what'd you think of your first archery mule deer hunt? It was great. A lot different than home, that's for sure. Yeah, it was a great time. We had fun. We had some pretty close encounters, just had some other deer blow up our stocks and we might have had a chance just now to go after one, but it rained all night in the area we're in. It is just a soupy mess on those steep slopes. And to get to them would have been pretty shady. Plus, DJ needs to get back. So if we would have done that, it probably would have turned into an all day deal if you would have shot one. So it's been fun heading back to the truck. I might go out and put my bow in my hand for a little bit, see what happens, but as always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Check out all of our partners in the description box. The best way you can support us is to buy a hat, shirt, whatever from our website and support them. Make it possible for us to take people out hunting like DJ. Probably do another giveaway here sometime. So. Keep your eyes peeled, over and out.